वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वन सो इन पार्ट ए इट इज़ गिवन दैट फॉर अ सॉलिड स्टील शाफ्ट द मॉडुलस ऑफ रिजिडिटी जी इज सेवेंटी सेवन गेगा पास कल डिटरमाइन द एंगल ऑफ ट्विस्ट एट ए एंड इन पार्ट बी सॉल्व पार्ट ए एज्यूमिंग दैट स्टील शाफ्ट इज हॉलो विद अ थर्टी मिलीमीटर और आउटर डायमीटर एंड ट्वेंटी मिलीमीटर इनर डायमीटर सो यू कैन सी दिस इज फिगर थ्री पॉइंट थ्री वन वी हैव अ सॉलिड शॉफ्ट हैविंग डायमीटर थर्टी एम एम द लेंथ इज वन पॉइंट एट मीटर एंड एट पॉइंट ए वी हैव अ टॉर्क ऑफ टू फिफ्टी न्यूटन इन टू मीटर सो फर्स्ट वी विल सॉल्व पार्ट ए फॉर पार्ट ए वी हैव गिवन डेटा इन गिवन डेटा वी हैव G is equal to seventy seven giga pascal, so seventy seven into ten raised to power nine pascal. Also, the length is equal to one point eight meter, and diameter of this solid shaft is equal to thirty millimeter. Okay. Which is again equal to zero point zero three meter. Now, uh, what we have to find in part A, in part A we have to find the um, angle of twist at point A. So theta A. So we will solve this. So let's start with the solution. Now we know that angle of twist. theta is equal to t into l divided by g into j where t is torque i will write t is equal to torque l is equal to length g is equal to modulus of rigidity of rigidity and j is polar moment of inertia polar moment of inertia okay so we have uh, this torque t is also mention over here t is given as i will write it torque is equal to 250 newton into meter as well so we have t we have l we have g we have j how we will have j so j for solid shaft which is polar moment of inertia is equal to pi by 2 c4 now what is c c is equal to radius of shaft and radius of shaft so how we will know c so as we know that we have d of solid shaft so c will be equal to ds over 2 which is equal to 0.03 meter divided by 2 and again this will be equal to 0.015 meter now we know that j is equal to pi by 2 c4 so pi by 2 and c is 0.015 whole power 4 so when you calculate it you will get j will be equal to 72.79.52 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter power 4 so this is the value of j okay so what we have to do is that we have all these values so you can put it in formula theta is equal to t into l divided by g into j and theta at point a so let put the value theta t is equal to 250 newton into meter length is 1.8 meter and g is equal to 77 Kega Pascal, so seventy seven into ten is power nine, and J is G is seventy seven into ten is power nine, while J is seventy nine point five two into ten is power 
minus 9. So when you calculate it, you will get angle of test at point A, which comes out to be 73.49 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian. Now this is in radian and we want to calculate it into degree. So we know that uh, 2 pi radian is equal to 360 degree. So again, one radian will be equal to 360 degree by 2 pi. And that comes out to be 180 degree divided by pi. So I will write theta A is equal to 73.49 into 10 to the power minus 3. And instant of radian, I will multiply 180 degree divided by pi. So when you calculate it, you will get theta A in degree and that's come out to be 4.21 degree. So this is the answer of our first part. Now we'll move towards second part and in second part, what is to find, what is to find in solve part A, assuming that steel is hollow with outer diameter 30 and inner diameter 20 so we have outer diameter which is c2 is 30 uh, sorry diameter is 30 I, here i have written so we have d2 is equal to 30 millimeter and d1 which is inner diameter is 20 millimeter so again you have to find angle of twist when uh, at point a when the shaft is hollow okay rest all the data will remain same so we know that c2 will be equal to d2 over 2 and that will be equal to 30 divided by 2 and that is 15 millimeter and in term of meter it will be equal to 0 0.015 meter similarly c1 will be equal to d1 over 2 and that is equal to 20 over 2 and that is 10 millimeter and in meter it is equal to 0 0.10 meter now we know that theta a is equal to t into l divided by g j so j for hollow shaft will be equal to pi by 2 into c2 square c2 4 sorry minus c1 4 you can put the value pi by 2 into C2 is 0 0.0154 minus C1 is 0 0.010 power 4. So you will get the value which is equal to 63.81 into 10 to the power minus 9 meter power 4. Okay, so this is the value of J. You can put it in this formula. Clear all the values are present. So we will move toward theta A is equal to T. T is 250 Newton into meter. Length of shaft is 18, 1.8 meter. That is mentioned into 1.8 divided by G is... 77 gigapascal so 77 into 10 to the power 9 multiply by j is 63.81 into 10 to the power minus 9 so when you calculate it this theta a will comes out to be 91.58 into 10 to the power minus 3 radian and we know that one radian is equal to 180 divided by pi 180 degree divided by pi clear so theta a in term of degree is equal to 5.25 degree and this theta a is for hollow shaft hollow shaft of same length
and this theta is for solid shaft so this is the answer of part a and this is the answer of part b i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you for watching